The culprit of this crime, the hat-stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other... <laughs> hey guys, it's your boy, Boiler Doggo, and welcome back to Frog Detective 3. Uh, corruption at Cowboy County might be the name of the game. Um, the most anticipated game of 2022. So our mission today is to talk to the last people we haven't talked to before. We're gonna give the cow the photograph. We're gonna buy carrots from the store. We're gonna find flowers. Yeah, so a lot to do today. So I think we're gonna start off with finding the last people and talk to them. Yeah, I was looking for cacti flowers, right? I, uh, these? Oh, snake. Okay. Guess not these flowers then. Da -da -da. There's so many cacti flowers. How do I know which one psychic? Oh, scorpion! Hold on. That's. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? He has a hat. Are you the hat thief? Lazagop, I found the culprit. I am bringing you in. Oh, that might be the flower. That's one prickly cactus. Good thing I have these gloves to protect my soft little fingers. Oh, so that's why we need the, the, uh, the gloves. We have one flower. Good, good, good. So we gotta find three more of those. We can take a little detour as we go into the... Going over... Oh, wait, what's here? Hello? What's... <laughs> hey, I remember you from the first game. Oh, Patrick, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> what a flower! I would never have found this place. Wait, you have a hat? You do not have a hat. Mm, so it was that scorpion then. we have done it. What is this? Whoa! Two mystery monkey! We go! Damn it. Oh, oh well. Go in the boring way. Mystery monkey! What are you doing here, mystery monkey? What are you doing here, mystery monkey 64? Was that his name? Sherman. Wow, look at you. Huh? Your jumper, your vacant smile, those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I certainly am. Not. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe. Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Ah. Is there a problem? I don't want any problem. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. I guess it's not Mystery Monkey 64. <laughs> authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. You have the authority to steal my heart. Aww. I was thinking about that before that, um, they should make a fraud detective dating game. I would so play it. Haha. <laughs> what? Because of your good looks. Huh? It's just a little joke. Not about your looks. You look great. It was like... You could like... Steal my heart because you're so dashing. <laughs> you're too kind. Anyways, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hats. The missing hearts? You must have stolen them. Sorry, just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humor. The hats, right. Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Who done it? That's why I'm here to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in the mirror. <laughs> I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came into the picture. What if Lobster Cop and the sheriff is... This might be a conspiracy thing. But what if Lobster Cop is in on the crime and he put the sheriff there to keep him from getting caught? So he's the cop and the sheriff and they are like... The... And that's why the sheriff is the only one with a hat. My fellow outlaw Ronda Dynamite was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Clearly she didn't get the courage in time. Because this new guy, Mason Moe, warned in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong, he's okay. I just don't get why he wants to be the sheriff. 
Cowboy Country has always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, so I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he would do a bad job or anything, but I just hope he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. Have you spoken to him much? He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him time to settle in. But I don't know. It can be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but uh, I have a few concerns. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Uh, ask about the sheriff, yeah. Continue talking about him. Why are you suspicious of Mason Mole? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. Not yet. Sherman winks. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I just really don't understand his motives. Why is he here? Hmm, I'm not sure. Obviously, I want to trust Lobster Cop's judgement, but this new guy is so quiet and shady. That's what I'm saying. Do you even know the job that he did before this? I have no idea. Do you? Nope. Figures. Blah, 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 blah. Any reasons you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow. I really like gold. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I want to ask. Is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth, and he also loves gold. He's made a crown out of it. Alright! Yeah! That's why I recognize him. Mystery Monkey was biggest was Frog the Tech's biggest fan, but the sloth was the guy on the first island who wanted to be like he was the king of the island or something, so he had the crown and he had the big bed and stuff. Right. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexions. I think anything would suit your complexions. But anyways, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang, have you tried exploding it with dynamite? Shall we make some dynamite? Let's do it! Oh, are we gonna see the explosion? <laughs> <laughs> What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I was thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, that would probably be better, yeah. Do you have one? I can trade you for a... a shovel. I'll think about it. Okay, sure man. Motive. I don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. It needs a pickaxe to break into the mine. Sure man, you make me blush. So funny, so cool. No, I don't want to be charmed. <laughs> this is a suspect. I don't know. Is he though? He's real charming. I don't think she is so suspicious anymore, actually. She wanted and when they still suspicious. Mesa Mole, suspicious. Loves a cop, I'm sorry to say it, but you're suspicious. Thank you, my dude. Off I go. I think it's something over here as well that I want to check out. Is the flower here? Whoa, nope. There's flower! Oh! Up there! Oh! No! <laughs> Fuck! Ah! You, you're going the wrong way, frog! Ah! Oh, we can do this! Yeah! Hiya! Flower! So it's just one left then, right? We found three. We found three! And we need four! That means that we need one more! What's in here? There. Well, oh well, oh well. What do we have here? <laughs> hey, this ladder is perfect for climbing down as well. Lucky me. Oh, a key, a key. Loves pop, loves the pop, loves the cop. Wanted a key. Needs a uh, key. Yeah. People are so careless nowadays. Even heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. Also, we needed a key to get into the the graveyard, I think. Or I haven't checked, but I think the graveyard had a key on it. <laughs> Not only is this ladder perfect for climbing down, it can also be used for climbing up. Lucky me. Let's fucking go. So one more flower to find. But without talking to Lobster Cop, there's a lock here. Can we use the key to get... 
Yeah, the key fits here just fine, but I'll wait till Lobster Cup gives me the okay to open it. I wonder if the flower is in there. Probably not. One grave has been dug up though. Hmm. Suspicious. Maybe that's where we want to look. Is this the flower? No. I know we have one left guy, one guy left at the saloon to talk to, but I'm I don't want to find this flower now that I'm out about. Oh, that's not it. No, <gasps> there it is. Flower got all four flowers. That should be enough flowers. Let's go. Okay, let's go talk to the last uh, outlaw guy. And then we should have everything to, like, start uh, giving people what they need. Oh, did you see that? That was pretty sick. Maybe this is the guy who would help me with the paper for, for this Missy. <laughs> hmm. I sit and ponder, detective. Is this thief a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to determine good and bad? A stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. Answers to what? Questions. What questions? Why is it so bright out here? How do I change this solar-powered bubblehead? And more. I'm certain of it. We spent so much time focusing on how to find the missing hats, and no time considering why we had them in the first place. I would assume for some protection. Protection? From the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? The sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun for too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crisp fried snack. <laughs> <laughs> Is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me. Who are you to determine wrong and right? Well, I am the front detective. And I am just but a lonely poet, trying to make sense of the world. Poets have pens and paper. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. And you. You sure think a lot about things, huh? I try, but I think I get it wrong a lot of time. Who are we to determine wrong and right? <laughs> if you don't mind me saying, you don't look so much like a cowboy. Oh, I'm not a cowboy. I'm Dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taking forever and I'm not good at this. But you have so much to say. Yes, but when I write it down, it gets so muddled. Nothing comes out right. I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. I'm ashamed that even showing anyone. You can show me. I won't judge. Hmm, uh, okay. <clears throat> a cowboy's life is so much fun, sitting round on your bum. Ride a scooter, sing a tune, say a yeehaw in the afternoon. The sun is bright, their smiles shine brighter when waving at the lonely rider. I give a nod and smile back too, yet I wish it could be someone new. An outlaw's life is not for me, I want to ride and be carefree. Instead, I sit and write stuff down, not fitting with this cowboy town. That wasn't too bad. That's my poem. It's beautiful. I would say that's a perfect cowboy poem. I think it was a nice poem, I, it was just me butchering it when I was reading it. <laughs> Thanks, but I want to write a new one. Ask about the perfect cowboy poem. Do you need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I would love that. Nobody here really gets me, you know? Totally. I'll show you what I have so far, and maybe you can help me finish it. Sure. <clears throat> I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal. How about that? How about that? Nice. He finished quickly, smart and sure. He headed off towards the store. But just ahead, to his shock. Third and newly built office block. Um, okay, sure. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover... Nothing there, just empty space. Oh, plot twist, okay. 
The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went. To tell his friend Ned. Aha! It's perfect! The perfect poem! I can't wait to recite it in front of a crowd. Thank you for the bottom of my heart, detective. It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. I feel like I understand the cowboy life a bit better now. Maybe one day I can feel confident enough to become a ro to become one myself. Now give me a pen and paper, come on. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, no, I do. But every time I start a new project, I like to use new tools. So I don't take the energy of the old poem with me. Sounds expensive. Yeah. Anyway, take them. That's an interesting thought process. Let's go. Now we have the pe the writing set. So now we can give that to her. We can go buy the carrot. Uh, we can show the picture. There's so much to do. Dusty. <laughs> Motive. Wanted to absorb cowboy power th through cowboy osmosis. Okay. It's a poet I call legend friend. Long live the cowboy life. Not great at budgeting. <laughs> okay. So we're done with you. We get out. Uh, hello. Give a question about the case I'm working on. Uh, give writing supplies. Here we go. I have some writing supplies right here. Oh, how did you get those so quickly? I helped to compose a beautiful poem. <laughs> Sounds boring. But thanks for getting me those writing supplies for me. I appreciate it. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I have a bunch of skills. I wish I had a bunch of skills. We can't all be run the dynamite. So now we gotta ask her to make a fake ID for Sussy. Sussy Baka. <laughs> you mentioned you can forge identification, right? I sure can. I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure, anything for my friend the detective. Amazing. I need a fake ID made for Sussy. Can you help? Can do. Did you want to know what it's for? Nope, not interested in other people's business. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, all done. Anything else I can help you with? I think you're good for now. Thanks so much. No worries, partner. Got a fake ID. There we go. Susie, got something for you. Okay, so, before I give you this, just know that this makes me very uncomfortable. But I know how important it is for me to solve this case in a press lobster cop. So... Here is your fake ID. Yes! This rules! It looks so realistic! I don't think it looks realistic at all, but it should be enough to get you in. Okay, I'll be right back! It worked! Thanks, detective! I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you helped me. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. You don't need to tell anyone. Here ya, here ya! The detective helped me break into the bank. No, no. They should call you the burglar. I don't want to be called that. Fine, fine. Here, I got the map out for you. A crime map, right? That's what she had. And I got my real ID out. So I won't be breaking the rules anymore. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks for the map. I think it'd be a big help. Crime map. Oh, so it's behind. Yikes. <coughs> Yikes. Okay, now we can just turn around and go here. What up? So, I took a look at all the photos at the saloon, and I think this one is definitely a ghost. Oh, really? How do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the photo seems pretty normal, but this one, this one is something else. I can just tell, the energy of this photo is very spooky and suspicious. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. Is it okay if I take a photocopy of this? That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the Ghostbusters League to find let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. 
Hey, can I give you something for your help? How about a pickaxe? What do you have? Pickaxe! Let's go! <laughs> Why? Sorry? Why do you have a pickaxe? What is it to you? Can't I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? No, I, I guess not. But usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason for having it in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay. Well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing. Sorry. It's okay, I guess. Just one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my days. That seems intense. It's just a pickaxe. For you, maybe. Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe. And now we can give the pickaxe to Shane, Shade, Shay, Sean, <laughs> Sherman. That was it. The Sherman wants a pickaxe. Um, now we're gonna go to the store. Hello. Aha! Uh -huh. Can I please buy these carrots? You have money? I sure do. Plenty of it. Okay, no need to brag. Take as many as you need. Thanks. Let's go, carrots! yippee ki -yay. Back to the saloon we go. <laughs> I love that. Da -da -da -dun. It looks like it's Frodo the Tickle's tail. <laughs> uh, give item carrots? Hey, I managed to procure some carrots for you, Stu. You're the best detective! How could you even manage that? I simply went next door and bought some. That's so cool! I'll add them to the stew now! Give item cactus flowers. I've just been flower picking. Great! Here's what I collected so far. I'll add them to the stew. I really wish you'd told me that cactus flowers are so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. <laughs> Did you? That's so funny! No, it's not funny at all! It's hilarious! <laughs> it's not hilarious. <laughs> that would have hurt! <laughs> yeah, it, it would have. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. Ew, like, second-hand gloves? First and second-hand, yep. <laughs> well, thanks for getting them. No problem. Hey, would you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients. Well, I mean, it was a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. What's wrong? Feels a little condescending. What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers and go to the store. That's more than I did. I suppose. Just give me a sec. I'll finish the stew and give you some. Great, thanks. I reckon I would give this to Lobster Cup. Do whatever you want. Stew. So it's just a shovel and then we go talk to Lobster Cup. So up to the mines. Da -da -da. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yo. Those, those big eyes. Oh. You mentioned you wanted a pickaxe, right? Sure did. I have one here if you would be willing to trade for the shovel. Oh, I'd love that, thanks. I could also trade for a nice dinner. Just you and I. Heh, <laughs> I'll take the shovel for now. Offers open. Maybe after I solve the case. Okay. Let's go, Frog the Tape, they got a date. Ooh, with those big dreamy eyes. I hope he didn't do it. Oh, <laughs> oh that's cute. Okay. Oh, what's frog uh, lobster cop? So, are you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? I think so. Ah, great initiative. Let's take a look. A map of the crime scene. That looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we have to wait and see. A tool capable of aiding criminal activity. Oh, a shovel. Hmm. I think you could be right, detective. A key that will lead us to the clue. That sure looks like a key to me. Any idea where it would lead? A meal for the number one best detective. Ah, oh, thank you very much. As the number one best detective, this do is clearly for me. Huh, would you look at that. The rookie came through. Nice work, detective. Thank you, loves the cop. You go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind. I just have some quick businesses to attend to. I can do that. I'll take that meal for now, though. It's all yours. Enjoy. I wonder if he's gonna go do something with the 
Mason Mole. I don't trust Lobster Cop. Well, here goes nothing. <gasps> Let's go. Okay, so this looks like this has been recently dug up. Hmm. But the map did say to go behind or... I don't know what that blue thing is. But it pointed here. Oh! According to the map, this is where the hats are hidden. An odd crime, if you ask me. I wish I could figure out the motive of this crime. It doesn't make any sense. Oh well, I'll just dig this up and hope Loves the Cop has more information. <gasps> Great! I found the hats! I'm sure everyone will be so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. Got lost had that, but we did it. So easy. Alright then. And we just gotta figure out who did it. Oh, and everyone's waiting for me. Look at him strut. Oh, that's a confident man. Here comes the detective now. Just in time for the town meeting to begin. The first order of business is... Poem. Please read a poem. Hello, I would like to read my poem. This is my first time performing a poem, and I'm nervous, so please do not laugh. I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal, how about that? He finished quickly, smart and sure. He headed off towards the store. But just ahead, to his shock, stood a newly built office block. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover nothing there, just empty space. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went to tell his friend Ned. Everyone erupts in applause. Let's go. Bro, the tech will be rocking it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the poem. Next door of business. Crime solved. I am pleased to announce that I have recovered. I'll stop you right there, detective. I am pleased to announce that I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hat. <gasps> oh, you did? I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole to the title of Sheriff. Everybody likes this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after, the detective arrived. That's me. Quite please, detective. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed your hats gone missing. Oh no, what is happening? Wait! It is with great sadness that I have to tell you this. The culprit of this crime, the hat stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other than the second best investigator. Frog Detective! No, 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 he's lying. Uh, wait, what? I have been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that ties the detective to the crime. What evidence? This! <gasps> no! Frog Detective did it! No, that's a mistake. I was digging up the hats because I found them in their location. <laughs> Why do you look so mischievous? <laughs> oh my god, he does. Oh no! Did Frog Detective really do it? I, I don't! Someone has drawn eyebrows on me! <laughs> I don't even have eyebrows! You have to admit, Detective. You have a big motive. A, a motive? What? 
You've come into a town that prides itself on hats. It's a well-known fact that you cannot wear hats. Weird head shape. Yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Mole. Because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. It seems to me you do, Detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them where nobody else could find them? Uh, but I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. W what judge? Hmm. That's a good point. We haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We have to invent the punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bedroom. What? That's less of an idea, more an ominous concept. I will elaborate. We put Frog Detective in the bedroom. For punishment of crime. No! <gasps> An excellent, if shocking, idea, Sheriff Mason Mole. We will construct a bedroom at once. I already made it. It's in my office. Oh, well, in that case. Detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bedroom. This is the worst day of my life. It is not happening. Stop! No! No, now Frog is sad in the loading screen! No! Oh no! Someone help me! <laughs> This is wrong! Stop! Frog Detective didn't do it! It's been framed! Just wanna go home to slippery pond Where the air is What the fuck? <laughs> Was this a bad ending or something? I've been in here no, wait, there has to be more. Lobs because the wrong detective as the bulgler? Introducing Mason Mole as a sheriff? What? Well, guess they marry young frog detective? Huh? Wait, supporting cats? These are just the characters of the game. <laughs> Special thanks to Lobs the Cop and Mason Mole. What is happening? Special apologies, fraud detective fans, optimism, cowboy county residents, Sherman, Kylie Minnell. I feel like she'd been, she would be upset. Friends and family. We don't have anything else to credit, and there is still time left of the song. The following credits are from the Grassy, the Next Generation, season six, episode eleven. What? No, look at him. There has to be more. This can't be it. He can't just go to jail. I mean, it's a nice song, but I think I'm gonna fast forward through it. It can't end like this. Come on. He has a PC. Try to contact the outer world. Gotta tell uh, su super um, super monkey sixty four. Imagine he's going to the f main screen. Pro detective net. To my loyal frog frog readers, it's hour number one of my time in the bedroom. I know that I am innocent. Unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes, but if you are reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the theft and return to being a, as good of a detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me, but my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding, as is the case with most of the mysteries I am involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. 
I am grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer, so I continue to write my blog posts. Though I must say, I am not sure if I would have much to write about here. Thank you for reading. Frog Detective X. No! Bad ending! Or Mystery Monkey was his name. Is it, it is Mystery Monkey 64! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> this is terrible! I can't believe this! Oh, the mo! Are you gonna stop break dance? Oh, yeah, look! Whoa! What's going on? I'm reading the latest frog blog blog post. I was so excited to see how Detective solved the mystery in Cowboy County. But I can't believe it! The detective has been framed for a crime! Crime is real? Let's not jump to any conclusions here. Of course, uh, sorry. What do we do, Mo? Um, we get back to our science work? I can't possibly concentrate on our scientific discoveries in these conditions. Mo, I have to help the detective. How are you going to do that? I'll solve the mystery myself. No way. <laughs> It's just so fucking hype, let's fucking go! Yo! Let's fucking go! No way! <laughs> and he wears a hat! Yo! And he winked at me! <laughs> Why did he wink at me? He's just like Lobster Cop, but better! <laughs> oh god! Look after the lab, Mo! I'm not coming back until I prove the detective's innocence! Wow! Mystery Monkey is so cool! Yo, this is so cool! <laughs> A little later... Can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery on the haunted island. Oh, of course. How could I forget? It's good to see you. Likewise. I realize this is highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your detectives. Ah, is it Lobster Cop? No. Investigator Eel? No. Inspector Iguana? The Incredible Sandy Moth? P.I.? No, none of those. Uh, I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course, our second best detective. Well, the detective isn't around right now. I sent my two top investigators to help over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? You heard what? The detective has been framed over a crime in Cowboy County. That's terrible news. How can you be so sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up. I know the Frog Detective would never do something horrible as steal the town's hats. Well, there is a clear motive here. I know, I know, but it's so out of character. Even if the detective is guilty, the punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the bedroom. Oh no! What's the bedroom? It's something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole? That name sounds familiar. Oh? Just sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back when we were there to investigate the ghost noses. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get the chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. When I saw his photo on the frog's blog, I knew right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, Mr. Monkey. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around frog detective's office to look for clues? Be my guest. My god. This is something else. <laughs> I was not prepared for this. Oh, I thought this was uh, Frog Detective's monkey. I thought this was Frog Detective's office. I was like, he has a picture of Lobster Cop in his office. That's like how much he looks up to him. I shouldn't stop in Lobster Cop's office unless I really have to. Right. Hey, look at that guy dancing. <laughs> hmm. Blue detecting powder. How convenient. I'll just spread this powder around and take another look for clues. 
got Cluedo Technic Powder. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <gasps> I think we got something here. These sure must be clues. Do they go? They do enter Frog uh, Lobster Cop's room. Oh no. Huh? Could it be? Oh, look at this. So this motherfucker. Narcissistic man. Oh. What could Lobster Cop be hiding? <gasps> the Frog Detective's Notebook. A picture of it. A copy of Frog Detective's Notebook? <gasps> no! Lobster Cop and Mason Mole? A note. It reads... Hello, Lobster Cop. It's me, your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I have done what you asked. It was not easy to trail the detective unnoticed. But I think I did a great job. I fear that your suspicions are correct, and that Fur Detective is on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective. If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. So I take in the detective's notebook. Inside are some great insights on how the detective works through a case. Maybe you can read and learn. But it may not be enough. As the detective gets better and better, your position as number one is threatened. I think it is time to enact the plan that you came up with. It's devious and mean and not very nice. But if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. No way, he actually did it. That can't be true. Lobster Cop, the number one best detective? A fraud? I need to get the supervisor and head to Cowboy County. There has been a terrible misjustice. Oh, oh. Hmm. This is where Frog is. Hello, my fellow people. Howdy, folks! What brings you to Cowboy County so late? This is our turf, so you better have a good reason. We don't want any trouble. We're here about our good friend, the Frog Detective. How can one so kind, poetic and thoughtful also be stealing all of our hats? A frog so pretty, so alluring, and yet... I really trusted the Frog Detective. That snake! I can't go on a date with a criminal. It's just not me. Aren't you a bandit? Outlaw. So you live outside the law? Well, when there's no law, it makes it pretty easy. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Frog Detective is innocent. Heh, sure. We all saw the photo. Those furrowed brows tell the whole story. Frog Detective doesn't even have eyebrows. Ah, so those were stolen too? No, you're mistaking. Mystery Monkey found all the evidence. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me. You may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's Frog Blog. I'm a pretty active user. Oh. <laughs> Blogs are still a thing? Regardless, you say it was a mistake? Not so much a mistake, a setup. I have reason to believe that Mason Mole and Lobster Cop coordinated the takedown for our beloved Frog Detective. What? That's so messed up. Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. How can we help? If you could point us in the direction where the frog detective is being held, that would help us a lot. Easy. Sheriff Mason Moles has a detective locked up in the bedroom at the back of his sheriff's office. If you're quiet, you should be able to sneak in without trouble. Thanks for helping us, bandits. We're outlaws. My bad. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> Looks like he's tuckered out after another day of being a mean, nasty liar. I won't wake him. 
<gasps> Frog! Mystery monkey? Supervisor? What are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed visitors in the bathroom. Or that anyone would want to visit me. We're here to bust you out! What? Mystery monkey has proof that you were framed. I knew it! Sheriff Mason Mole was up to something. It's not just him, detective. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe that Lobster Cop and Mason Mole planned this all along. It, it can't be. Lobster Cop is the number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? It's hard to know for sure until we ask, but it looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with the bad case of jealousy. Green with envy, one would say. Envious? Of who? You, detective. It's, it's not possible. It's time for you to shift your understanding of the world, Detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I, I simply can't believe it. Well, let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cup and Mason Mole once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. Let's fucking go. Ho 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 ho! What is the meaning of this? Only I get to call the town meetings. We have called this town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about the hat stealing case. But it's closed. I sold it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, w what are you doing here? Please give your attention to Mr. Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, town, for meeting us here on a short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. What? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? <sighs> huh? What? I... This is ridiculous! Lobster Cop, I found a secret drawer in your office. You can't just go through my office, that's a crime! Please stop trying to invent crimes, crime is not real! As I was saying, I found your secret drawer, I found a letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. I know I shouldn't have detailed my scheme on a paper. Sheriff Mason Mole has been tailing the detective ever since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island. I can confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. Wait, why didn't you tell me? It feels like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos who runs a shop over at Warlock Woods. He also confirmed the sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind his shop. What? I never... Oh, but you did! Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. No, I... No, that's not... I... Oh, he's crying. This is all a mistake. No, no, Mason Mole. It's time for us to come clean. Detective is shocked. <laughs> Frog Detective, ever since you moved next door to my office, I felt threatened. You are so methodical in your case solving, I would read your blogs and go green with envy. I've been the number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Every time the supervisor had a misery to solve, I began to believe that I wouldn't be able to do it and passed it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself, and angry at you. Angry? But Lobster Cop, your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to, but I became so focused on my shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Mole was there for me. Having friends is so important, but we were bad influence on each other. I need work, and so I suggest to Lobster Cop that I help take you down. But I have to take you down, and I have the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see? I'm ashamed that I got to that point. Instead of asking you for help, or swallowing my pride, I let my jealousy get the best of me. How did you frame the detective? It was a joint effort. When they arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find a map. Sassy did. Uh, sup. This is Bo from editing. 
Uh, I have no idea why I keep calling her Sussy and not Susie. <laughs> so, yeah, I know her name is Susie, but for some reason I just keep calling her Sussy. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I didn't execute it very well, I admit. Once you had the resource to dig up the hats and the lobster cut had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? I was eating a delicious meal. Of course. I am ashamed to say, I also drew evil eyebrows on the photo of you. But what I won't understand is why you had to put me in a bad room. Framing me was bad enough, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped in. That's so unusually cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting somebody in a room, whether they did naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around trapped? I really hate that room. That room was my idea. I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realize this now. My bad. Lobzakop, Mason Mole, you have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society does not have the strategies in place to deal with things like this. Aren't you going to send us to the bathroom? Absolutely not. That's messed up. No, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobzakop, you have abused your power in ways that I can't begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you enabled and encouraged this behavior. I'm mad at you both. We deserve that. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. I think you should change career path for your own good. Maybe do something that helps contribute to society. A cop no longer. Okay, I will hand in my badge and gun. Gun? Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real. That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. Mate, I gave Loves the Cup the gun. Oh, okay, well uh, then, yes, please hand that in. I have an idea what you could do for a job, Loves the Cup. Oh? Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? Lobster Posty has a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not. Well then, it's settled. Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mole, do you have anything else to say to the detective? Yes. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, detective. I was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself as a great postie and right some of the wrongs I've done. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have. I am going to channel that energy into being a postie and please rest assured that you will never have a late parcel again. Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. Oh. <laughs> Say, now that that is all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Oh? Is the frog detective the number one best detective ever? Yes. Or is, <laughs> or is it gonna be Mystery Monkey? Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. After some ineffectable detective work on this case, I'm really pleased to announce the new number one best detective. Congratulations to... Mystery Monkey! <laughs> wow, congratulations Mystery Monkey! What an achievement! I can't believe it! Thank you so much! I have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full time! You can move into my old office. There's already a bunch of trophies there for you to keep. <laughs> Great! <laughs> what an honor to work next door to the number one best detective. Again? <laughs> this calls for a celebration. Bunny, can you help prepare a saloon for a dance party? Can do! Oh, and loves the posty? Posty Mason Mole? Yeah? You're invited too. Ah, Frog is back. Ah. <laughs> there, that has to be the ending. Yeah, but this, yeah. Here we go. Grace, Grace Bruxner, thank you for making this. <laughs> as well as Thomas Boker, thank you. <sighs> I think this is all for Frog Detective. There is. I don't believe there will be. I mean, I don't know. 
maybe there would be a frog detective dating simulator. I would play that. But it seems that this is the end for the frog detective saga. The trilogy of games. God, I'm gonna miss frog detective. Oh, there's more, there's more. Maybe there will be more frog detective. Oh, oh, let's go. I mean, I guess there is room for more. Frog Detective's Crime Solving Agency, Frog Detective speaking, how may I solve your mystery? <laughs> hey, Frog Detective! Yes, Mr. Monkey? Happy birthday! Thank you so much! I know it's your birthday, but I had this really difficult case that I just can't crack. But you're the number one best detective. I know, but this one is a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. Oh... Time for another mystery? Yo! Hey, detective! Well, 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 if it isn't Mystery Monkey 49. Good to see you, Frog Detective 03. What? Just a joke. Are there two other Frog Detectives? I, I don't know, I, I was just joking. You got me worried. That really stresses me out. <laughs> <laughs> frog Detective 1, Frog Detective 2, and now Frog Detective 3? Huh? How do you think I feel with 48 other mystery monkeys? Hmm, that's a good point. Anyways, thanks for meeting me here. The case information is in another room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. Will do. So there is another case. I see, I see. This is for the, the next game. Oh, what did I do to... Perfect. <laughs> oh. What's happening here? <gasps> Surprise! <laughs> so that's everyone for the games. The, the three games. Oh! Huh? Wow, what's everyone doing here? Larry. Larry had a voice, yeah. Well, detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Yeah! Our town has never been so peaceful! All thanks to you! Same with my island! I haven't heard a ghost in ages! I mean, technically you never heard a ghost! We heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise you! It worked! That's not all, Detective! We got your present! It should be coming any minute now! I ordered it on Whisp Bay! Is it Lob's poster? Yo! Lobster Posty! Special birthday livery! Is that for me? Open it up! <gasps> it's a little happy birthday! <laughs> Wait, what is this? That's easy, detective. It's a hat! I, I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Why don't you try it on? Yo! <laughs> well, would you look at that? It's a hat that fits. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you for playing Pro Detective. Oh, we have loved making this game for you, and we are so grateful that so many people have spent time with our silly story. Oh, That's so sweet! <laughs> well, I believe that is all for this episode. I, f I think we finally finished all the Frog Detective games. So, probably not gonna be more. But maybe? Maybe dating game. We'll see. I would play it. Um, but either way... If you enjoyed these videos, please leave a like, subscribe, I have a Patreon if you want to check that out. But otherwise guys, remember that you are loved and appreciated. And you should be proud of who you are. Because I want to see you in the next episode. Let's see if I make it this time. <laughs>
Okay, that really was the end. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>